So during this time of the year, I like to throw these little road runners. The only problem is, see that? It has this little blade on it. The only problem is that the the this the um the hook will get bent a lot because they're made for these are made for fresh water. Uh huh. Okay. And you have a short shaft hook, but I think it's gonna work great with these backwater predator. Okay. Just because it's a, a narrower body. So you only got this much hook set. You got like a quarter of an inch hook set coming out. Yeah. So it's almost like fishing with. Take the shit out of it. You right? I was gonna say that it's almost like fishing with a weedless hook. Yeah. Where you need to really set your hook and pop your hook because you have so much shad in the water. Yeah. It's a new hatch going on right now with shad and um, shrimp. So everything's real. Net with nothing on it. Everything's real small. Okay. Okay. So you, you get you, you try to use like smaller profile lures. Go, these grubs. Uh, the bugs lure has like a clickbait. You got them? Yep. All right. Uh, he got on. But yeah, bugs has like a clickbait. Yeah. So you use a smaller profile. Like Cody was using those Z-Man shrimps, those smaller ones. Yeah. Smaller, a lot of smaller profile baits right now. Flounder. <clears throat> oh, got him. Just caught a flounder. Let me see if I gotta clean this lens. A little bit on it. Nice flounder. I think he might barely make it. We'll get this board wet anyway, just in case. Talked to a couple guys coming back to this marsh and they said it is a lot of people back here today which kind of stinks for being middle of the week got that guy on backwater predator and i was just saying how you really got to set that hook whenever you catch one with this type of jig head and i didn't set it at all he just smashed it oh yeah i think he might barely miss no he is 14 and a half. You want Eric? Yeah. Okay. You got some mic in your bag. Sure do. Oh, the lure just came out. 14 and a half. Nice little thick guy. Pretty color. Yep, just lost the lure. Let's see. <clears throat> Gotta move quick. Oh. <laughs> oh, stop splashing. Oh, stop splashing. Oh, he flipped out. Get him in the bag. He flipped out. Yeah. Oh, man, nothing there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, the dust cloud. Look at that dust cloud. Oh, I am. I got to. Is it? Get him in the net! <laughs> Get him in the net! Uh, all right. Woo, that's a good flounder. I just put that darker color on because the water's so dark. So, so let me go with this color. This is a tried and true, tried and true lure for me. It's a DSL. But yeah, look at that guy. DSL. That's that uh, H2 Exp H2 O Express. We'll see where he's gonna be at real fast. Well, you know what? Like that rattle up here. You know it might have, but I always the rattle, the scent. I put them all together, you know. Sixteen and three quarters. Almost seventeen. Nice flounder, man. You want me to let it go, or do you want to keep them? <laughs> Got that red right on the edge of that, right on the edge of that, that oyster. 
Oh, he was, nope, it's a speck. Speck? Yep, it's a nice one. <clears throat> oh, he's barely hooked. <laughs> right on that oyster right there I did I thought it was a red at first right there blackwater predator backwater predator black black lure Gonna got some blue flakes in it. Nice, nice fish though. Real nice fish. <clears throat> not as big as those those uh those ones we were catching the surf, but not as thick. But yeah, he's uh 15 and a half. 15 and a half. He might be closer to 16. You always get you always catch fish right on the edge of the reef. It's like uh it's like you'll, you'll run into, you'll get stuck. So you're kind of playing Russian roulette, but yeah. it's pretty defined right now where you can see where they're at. Hopefully, we get another one over here. But right here, this intersection is always good for a flounder, for a trout. So I just, I've been fishing for flounder because that's kind of what we've been seeing the most of. I really want a red today. And I just started casting for a trout. There's another one. This was smaller. Oh no, this is a nice, big old nice flounder, dude. Big old nice flounder. Oh, this is a nice flounder. I literally cast it four feet over and he hit it after a couple pops. I wasn't letting it touch the bottom. I wouldn't let it touch the bottom. Again, backwater predator. Two casts, two fish, two species. And again, on that short shaft hook. <laughs> Man, you ought to see the blow up behind you. <sighs> down that alley. It's gone now. He ate, he bit it off. It went down in his thing. Dang. Just under 19. Damn, dude. Actually, close his mouth. Now he's just over 18 and a half. Still a heck of a fish. Damn right, that's a beautiful, nice size. Kind of what we were targeting. You got him? Yep. Awesome. Feels good. <clears throat> Another flounder. No, he's good. I think he's. Did he be 18? There you go. Nope. Go. Yeah. Missed it. Yes, Here we go. There we go. Oh, that's a flounder. Oh, nope. It's a solid one. It's a solid, solid, trip, solid trout. Can't even talk. Ooh. Get him in the net. Get him in the net. 
Doubled up! Yes, <laughs> Nice speckle. Speckler. Backwater predator. Eighteen and a half. That's a nice fish, man. You want me to let it go? No. <laughs> you want me to let it go? Huh? No. I thought you don't like them that big. Too hard to clean. I thought you said they taste too fishy when they get over 15. So that's gonna do it today out here with Eric. Eric did a great job. Took him on what over nine mile an hour trek, about nine and a half miles. As long as I have been on. <laughs> but back hey, it's killing me. It's back is killing him. I'm pretty worn out too. But hey, if you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Until next time, hopefully you catch me looking up. Tight line. <laughs>